ePro eProtect is engineered for post-applied waterproofing of below-grade walls made from cast-in-place concrete, shotcrete, ICF forms, or CMU block. While this video depicts the application of eProtect, the same process is used for eProformance. The installation process begins by applying a reinforcement detail horizontal cold joint at the base of the wall and all cold pore joints that run vertically. Begin by applying a 30 mil application of E-roll, a minimum of three inches on each side of the joint. Make certain to firmly apply the material deep into the 90 degree transition. Then, apply a 6 inch wide strip of E poly reinforcement fabric along the joint. Be sure to center the width of the strip along the joint and press the E poly firmly into the previously applied E roll. Complete the joint reinforcement by applying another 30 mil layer of E roll over the E poly, ensuring the complete coverage of E poly. Vertical cold pore joints and form tie holes must also be treated with the same reinforcement detail. Along vertical cold pore joints, apply the first layer of the reinforcement detail, 30 mils of E-roll and a minimum of 3 inches on either side of the joint. When joints intersect, all joints should be tied together by overlapping both E-roll and E-poly. Apply the 30 mil top coat of E roll. When all joints are prepared, you're ready to apply E spray. For the E Protect wall system, apply an 80 mil layer across the entire wall. Please note for green concrete or walls with less than a full 28 day cure, a 10 mil application of E spray without catalyst should be applied and allowed to set to help reduce blistering. Once the initial cure has occurred and water is no longer ejecting from the membrane, the E Shield 115 protection layer is installed. To attach the next protection layer, E Shield 115 15 mil geo membrane, spray apply a water based low VOC adhesive to the wall. Then, attach E-Shield and smooth into place. Apply the next E-Shield layer in the same manner by first applying the spray adhesive onto the E-Spray and continuing onto the previously applied E-Shield layer a minimum of 6 inches. Then apply the next layer of E-Shield 115 and overlap the previous course a minimum of 6 inches. Finally, secure the seam overlap with E-tape. Repeat the process using the same spray adhesive to attach the drainage layer. E Drain 6000 3/8 inch drain mat. The dimpled side with the geotextile fabric should face outward. Firmly press the drain mat into the adhesive. To complete this assembly at the top of grade, secure E Term HD to the wall and secure to the wall every 12 inches on center. Apply a bead of low VOC acrylic caulk on the top edge of the termination bar or a reinforcement detail. Please reference the project specific details as termination details can vary.